Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to make your own shark shaped picture frame. Now these frames are easy to make, uh, we make them out of standard pine available at any lumber yard. And I also use some white plastic in order to make the teeth. They make a great display, a great present. They look good uh, in, in a larger frame as a wall hanging frame or as a self standing frame. Uh, to start the project, we're just going to begin to draw out the shark on a piece of pine. Uh, this is a 1x8, and this is a good size for a self-standing frame. Uh, basically drew two curves, um, or, or two circles, one for the outer frame of the, uh, of the shark's head, looking straight at it with the mouth open, and one is the opening that we're actually going to cut out uh, for the picture. Now I did try to make a couple of these and cut out the teeth uh, from the wood. It didn't work out well. The teeth uh, chipped when I tried to router uh, and cut them out. And the, the white plastic just shows up much better as a finished product. Uh, the tail is very small, uh, angled down. You want the, the tail, the bottom of the tail, uh, to be on the flat surface of the wood because it, the frame is actually going to stand um, on not only uh, the mouth or the head but also on the tail. And we're going to draw in the pectoral fin as well as the dorsal fin. I'm using a pencil just because the erasers make it easy when you make a mistake. You can just keep redrawing it until uh, visually it looks, it looks good to you. Once I get that done, I am going to take a black uh, Sharpie magic marker and just uh, go over all of those lines so that they're easier to see uh, when I'm cutting them out. And this is a, a pretty simple shark to draw. The first step in the process is going to be to drill a couple of holes through that mouth opening and then to cut out that mouth opening with a jigsaw. Now this is the opening uh, that's going to allow the picture to be seen through. The next step is going to be to flip that over and clamp it down to your workspace. And using a router, you want to router out about a quarter inch groove um, all around the back side of that opening. This groove is going to allow the plexiglass and the cardboard um, you know, behind, behind the photograph or to sit into the wood um, in that frame. Don't worry about the shape of that opening. We're going to cut the plexiglass uh, to fit that uh, whatever opening you've created with the, with the router. Uh, after that, you can, you can cut out the rest of the outside shape of the shark. Again, I went back to a jigsaw, but you can certainly use a pin saw or a, a band saw, any, anything you like. This is the shark. It's basically cut out. We have some sanding and grinding to do uh, just to give it a little bit more texture, a little bit more shape. I use a disc grinder with a, a flap sanding wheel. Uh, this tool moves a lot of material very quickly, so you have to be a little bit careful with it. But I'm just going to round over all of the edges. I'm going to highlight um, the pectoral fins by kind of grinding away the body so that the pectoral fin uh, sticks away from, from the body, protrudes away from the body. And I'm also going to grind the dorsal fin um, a little bit narrower than the body so it looks like it's center line with the shark's body. Doesn't take a lot of artistic ability to get, to get this far. Um, I am going to also use a small Dremel grinder uh, with a drum sanding wheel and these are great for getting into the small spots that you just can't get into uh, with the disc grinder. And just smoothing over all the edges and making everything a little bit rounder. I am going to use that same um, Dremel wheel just to give the mouth of the shark a little bit of um, make it stand out a little bit. So I'm going to sand away the body from the mouth and just let the mouth protrude a little bit. That's basically it with the carving. Like I said, it's a pretty simple project. I am going to just sand uh, all of those uh, grinding marks smooth. You can do this by hand or you can use it with any type of sand that you'd like. Once that's done, I'm going to go back to the grinder. Uh, this is a uh, cutoff wheel on the um, Dremel grinder. And I'm just going to add a couple of details. Uh, the sharks don't really have you know, a tremendous amount of um, detail that we're going to add to this, but it, it's good for um, outlining the, the pectoral fins just so that they uh, jump out at you a little bit more. Uh, you could add a couple of lines running down the body of the shark, you know, from the tail towards the, towards the mouth. 
And after that, you can either paint this shark or you can stain it, um, light or dark. I'm gonna stain it in a, uh, in a dark wood color. I think that, that just is gonna help um, make those, those bright white teeth kind of pop away from the frame. But you could accomplish the same thing with a dark gray paint. After that dries, or while that's drying, I'm gonna cut out the teeth. And I have some um, white plastic. I got this at Home Depot, it's a, it's a molding. Um, and I'm just cutting out some little triangle pieces from it. Um, I actually got a little carried away. I used to the uh, uh, Dremel grinder and I ground some serrations on each one of the teeth to make it just look a little bit better. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of two-part epoxy and I'm gonna apply it very carefully uh, just to the upper edge of, that, of each tooth and push them onto the wood. Um, I did put another piece of plastic below that and that's just so that um, I don't have to hold these in place while they dry. And it also prevents those teeth from uh, being glued uh, too far down on the wood, whereas it would interfere with the plexiglass. You know, you wanna glue these into position above the routed slot for the plexiglass. Once the teeth are dry, it really, it really looks like a finished product. Um, I did spray this with a coat of, um, of varnish. You could also use polyurethane if you preferred. And then the only um, thing left, other than cutting the plexiglass, and that's very simple, I'm just using the same uh, grinding or cutoff wheel on the Dremel grinder uh, to cut an accurate uh, size piece of plexiglass that's gonna fit in that groove. Uh, the only other thing would be to um, come up with a, with a stand so that this frame is going to stand on a shelf by itself. So this is the plexiglass in position. And now I'm just gonna make a little stand uh, to hold it up kind of at at about that angle. What I came up with was, was very simple, just a, another piece of pine, and I'm gonna screw it onto the back, you'll see in a second, you'll, I'm gonna screw it onto the back of the frame just with one screw at the top. And basically it'll just pivot on that screw so I can open this up out of the way uh, in order to change the picture or to put the picture in, and then I'm gonna pivot it back into position and that piece of pine will act as the stand. And that's ba basically it, a very easy to make, shark shape, uh, hand carved wood picture frame. Very suitable for shelf display. You can see the little serrations I added to each one of those plastic teeth. And the finished product on my, on my shelf. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos, and I ask that you please give a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel.